peace have it now and now is the vibration the rate at which we vibing right now not too far in the future not too far in the past right now they are digging that little jingle though <laughs> want to bring up a few uh basically foods herbs you know what i'm saying uh things to to strengthen your pineal to help decalcify your pineal you know a lot of people you know trying to open up that third eye man to feel that perception you know what i'm saying to to be able to lucid dream and matter of fact for the healthiness of the body because that deals with the uh but it is the arcadian or circadian rhythm, but it's basically the rhythm of like, you know, when the melatonin and serotonin release, you know, with your sleeping and waking up pattern. I'm gonna go through a few little, a few things that I use in general, and you know, a few other things that I've uh, came across in my research. And disclaimer before we get deep into it, I am not, uh, you know, I pike this, I am a god that is learning all these things that I already have knowledge of I'm just relearning but you know what I'm saying they have a few a few of my my brethren gods and goddesses that you know more well versed in this information so I'm not trying to be the expert right now I'm letting you know you know just from my research what I'm using matter of fact another disclaimer you know with the Dr. Seb if you're on the Dr. Seb list some of these foods or things may be hybrids you know so you know like matter of fact one of the things first off, because I know, uh, I think this might have been on Dr. Sebi list at one time, but it got taken off. So, you know, so if you're strict on the, on the uh, you know, electrical food diet, you know, then you won't be able to really eat pine nuts, but pine nuts, but I, like I told y'all, it varies. Like, so you could have a hybrid food. So hybrids kind of, either most, most cases, they have a lot of carbohydrates uh, for sure because of the molecular structure structure may be a little funny or different or throw off you know your own dna maybe not crucially it all depends it varies between you know how much of a hybrid you know it would be or how harmful the hybrid would be i should say but you know pine nuts is good it got pinoleic acid which is good for the pineal gland so you know make sure you know and if you do get like you know these what they call a uh, hybrid fruits vegetables whatever the case may be just make sure you're going organic you know, but yeah, pine nuts definitely good. You know, matter of fact, uh, apple cider vinegar is also good for your pioneer. So you take it like a little swig in the morning, swig at night, little tablespoon. Cause matter of fact, what's funny, and which I heard, matter of fact, another thing dealing with, you know, not say controversial, but you know, I've heard Dr. Layla Africa talk about how vinegar is not good. But I also see so much about apple cider vinegar being good for not only, you know, which with the alkalinity in your body, but weight loss and a lot of other things. But too, it says that once you take it, it converts into like, you know, into like an alkaline, you know, instead of being acidic, it'll, it, it transmute or transform into alkalinity, you know, once it gets into the system and start working with our body function. So, you know, but. Like I say, not no doctor or whatever. I'm just, you know, going off of my research and what I what I'm actually using. Uh, go to, got to cola. Is another good one. As a matter of fact, when you're using supplements like this, try to make sure they are are very, very vegan friendly. Cause uh, they don't try to they. How can I say? Just because they claim to be health foods and at the GNC and all this, they still try to slip soy and you know silicone dioxide or you know these little preservers and stuff like this even in these supplements so try to make sure that your supplements are as you know as gmo free and as vet you know as vegetarian or vegan friendly as possible you know what i'm saying so if you deal with the supplements make sure they're not putting all kind of uh, extra additives in it you know what i'm saying but uh the, the got to cola you know is a good one matter of fact not only for your pineal gland but for your memory in general you know what i'm saying matter of fact that in combination with uh ginkgo ginkgo biloba and uh and ginseng that's that's incredible for your memory and for you know what i'm saying matter of fact just brain energy and just having them neurons firing off like you know what i'm saying matter of fact if you 
go and you look at my videos and videos where I never have no segue where I look like I'm uh, guessing and all this, whatever the case may be, and because I'm wired up and then had all my little supplements and they keeping me, you know what I'm saying, keeping my memory, keeping everything like fluid, you know, but go to cola, uh, that fact, and I'm going to go through a, a list and now I'm going to show you more of the ones I have, but uh, got to cola or go to cola and boron, which I, I've read that uh, boron, uh, actually you know you can't find it but in some places they have made it illegal i saw you know to even have boron but you do have boron and beets now again beets is you know is a hybrid and not really on dr sebi's list but you know but it is good for your pioneer glands the thing like some things could be good for a certain area of your body but still not ultimately good you know what i'm saying so it's one of them things like that but boron helps uh detoxify uh and matter of fact, most of this is dealing with decalcification. Like when I look up decalcification, you know what I'm saying? Not just strengthening, but you know, decalcifying. So uh, the boron, B O R O N, and it helps to uh, remove the fluoride also. So you know, but like I say, in most cases, I've I've seen that they don't even allow for it to be bought straight up. You know what I'm saying? So it is in beets if you look in the, you know, and then uh. Basically, uh, now this is a vitamin, the K1, K2 vitamin, which is mostly found in uh, green leafy uh, vegetables, you know what I'm saying? So that's also a good agent if you could find like the supplement itself, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, be careful with some of these, you know, supplements because they'll try to, they try to slip, they try to slip a Mickey uh, on you even with that, you know, so be careful with that. Uh, alfalfa sprouts is also good you know alfalfa in general matter of fact you look at any of your detoxes you know alfalfa and dandelion leaf is like the top two you know what i'm saying that and burdock root red clover uh dandelion root red clover burdock root alfalfa dandelion leaf i said but yeah alfalfa definitely uh good for detoxifying in general and for the pioneer uh parsley Parsley, that's a new one from, you know, we even come across it in, in the information. And plus, I think parsley is not, uh, it's not on Dr. Sebi's list. So, you know, care for that. And uh, oregano oil, oregano oil and a uh, neem plant or neem oil or neem extract. That, that was a new one to me, but I also seen it at the top of a bunch of, you know what I'm saying, you know, research and studies. So, oregano oil and neem extract. Matter of fact, I got it. I just bought some. You know, oregano oil, neem leaf, and like I say, you try to make sure it's as friendly to the body as possible. It's on sale. <laughs> but uh, oregano and neem extract, matter of fact, helps with the purification process. Also, uh help remove any existing calcification and in addition it helps to purify the body system and especially in the endocrine endocrine system so no good for the endocrine system also uh what else we got sea moss definitely matter of fact the sea moss go check out matter of fact because i gotta give me some sea moss from my brethren too uh go check out the brethren kt the og degree you know what i'm saying uh blue pill and red pill brother check out his website he got some sea moss uh, for sale on his uh, on his website, but sea moss is definitely good for you. Matter of fact, extremely good for you, just body in general, you know, and alkalinity, you know, but good for the pioneer gland, good for decalcifying the pioneer. Uh, blue green algae, you know, in which in most cases the blue green algae, which I see they got spirulina and chlorophyll on the list, so blue green algae could be like a Besides that, like kelp, or like you know how you could get a uh, kumbasha, the kumbashas with the uh, with the algae and the blue green algae, like the uh, I forgot the the green one name, but you know one of those uh, uh, drinks like that that have the blue green algae in it. But I also have a uh, chlorophyll, which is also good. As a matter of fact, if you remember the stories of some of the people being you know, green, I think it was Osar, Osiris, uh, that was 
was said to be, you know, had green skin at one time, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that that that's not far fetched because, you know, uh our blood and chlorophyll is just one molecule away from being the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh our blood has iron and the uh chlorophyll has uh magnesium. So, you know, if you swap those two things out in the process, matter of fact, if you look at the molecule, they're surrounded by basically the same uh, chemical bonds, but it's just that one difference of uh, iron and magnesium in the middle. So, you know, the chlorophyll, definitely good. Also, spirulina. Spirulina is definitely good for you. And that could fall under the blue-green algae uh, category also. So, uh, coconut oil. Walnuts, and matter of fact, walnuts is definitely uh, walnuts have omega threes in them also. So uh, uh, walnuts are uh, are good. Basically, walnuts are good for your memory uh, also. But they have omega three fat acids, so that allows for you to get omega threes without having to uh, do all the fish oils and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's also good. Uh, again, they got beets. And I mean, beets could kind of, you know, coincide with the boron, like I brought up earlier. But boron is hard to find straight up. Like I said, I think they outlawed it in a, in a lot of places. I mean, I, I don't know how, you know, if it could be used for something poisonous or whatever the case may be. But other than that, I, I still see if it's very strong, I see why they outlawed it. Because they don't want you to decalcify your pineal, man. I said that beets, you know, but remember beets is a hybrid. So, you know, uh, lemon water. Definitely lemon helps to alkaline alkalize the body and definitely help uh with decalcifying that pineal gland. Turmeric. Turmeric is exceptional, you know what I'm saying, just in general for the body, but definitely good for the pineal and decalcifying the pineal gland. Uh ging ginseng. Matter of fact, ginseng in combination with uh ginkgo biloba in a Got too cold, like I brought up earlier. Good for the memory, good for energy, you know what I'm saying? But also good for the pineal gland. And then this last one is my first time actually hearing of it. It's a bentonite clay. So, you know, bentonite clay. My first time, I, I can't, <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm just going off of a uh, accumulation of lists that I kind of, you know, looked at. And then off of essential oils, you know what I'm saying? Because, matter of fact, our nose, our sensory, or, you know, everything is a vibration. So even smell is a vibration. You know, a scent, you know, a smell coming from something is a vibration. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, sound of wood, frankincense, mirror, clary sage, uh, pink lotus, mugwort, pine, and uh, helichrysum which that's my first time seeing and hearing of that one. I know like frankincense and mirror. Uh, I, I haven't tried the mugwort yet. I will try the clary sage, but frankincense and mirror, I know just basically just uh, brings you to a spiritual place in general from the incense to the oil, you know what I'm saying? But it definitely helps at decalcifying the pineal gland also. And another one on the list, uh, which it kind of coincides with the uh, with the blue green algae and the chlorophyll and spirulina somewhat, but iodine because you know iodine uh, may be in some of these like little algae and stuff like this. But iodine is definitely good to uh, get rid of the uh, the sodium fluoride. You know what I'm saying? The fluoride. That's you know what I'm saying. That's calcifying your pineal gland. Now, they do say that it lowers calcium levels, so you want to uh, make sure that you, let's see. Yeah, it, it, I, taking iodine supplement, supplements lowers your calcium levels, so just make sure you, you kind of act them by, if you're going to just do straight up iodine a supplement or some of that nature, make sure you got some type of calcium uh, coming into you too, whether you use a supplement or different uh, foods to, you know, bring calcium in. And then also on the list, uh, which I, I saw KT, the art degree, bring up on one of his videos uh, too lately, or a while back, was a uh, tamarind. Tamarind, it looked like a little bean pod, but basically you break it down. And matter of fact, my first time having it when I moved to Cali, and his 
Matter of fact, it could substitute candy for sure. Like if you, oh, I, mean, I got a sweet tooth this and that, you're looking for something like dates. Matter of fact, I'm not talking about these, but away from the tamarind, but dates, you know what I'm saying, is also like a little candy. It's like nature's candy and it's good for you, you know what I'm saying, bring it, give you a good fiber, good fiber, keep your bowels moving right, you know what I'm saying, give you that good energy, you know. But uh, iodine uh, is definitely, like I said, most of them come from uh, seaweed. Now, which you do have iodine that could come from, uh, you know, the shrimp and fish stuff like that, but I don't deal, you know what I'm saying? I don't deal with the meat. That's up to you, you know, on how you deal with it to each his own. But, you know, iodine does help to decalcify the pineal gland. And then raw cocoa is one of the top ones also, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, uh, raw cocoa uh, helps to basically, the let's see, the uh, got a little science on it. The, the level, it got high levels of uh, nitric oxide and it's incapable, uh, it's capable of increasing the size of blood vessels up to 30%. And when it, you know, increases the size of the blood vessels, it's allowing a lot of oxygen to flow to the pineal, you know, therefore decalcifying it and amplifying its abilities, you know, by giving it that strength, giving that oxygen flow, you know what I'm saying? So raw cocoa, you know, and especially raw, you know what I'm saying, like GMO, uh, free, like, you know, the A1 raw cocoa. I know love fake, you know, what they trying to process and all this with the alkali and all that. Raw cocoa. Matter of fact, uh, in this raw state, it contains high levels of uh, antioxidants, you know, uh, as well as uh, PEA, which is called the love chemical, and anandamide. A N A N D A M I D E, anandamide, the blissful chemical. You know what I'm saying? So basically, uh, also bring in uh, those chemicals also that's good for the body. But raw cacao or cocoa. As a matter of fact, this has been used since the ancient times. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, raw cocoa been a, been around for a while. You know, as a matter of fact, a true a non-hybrid plant, you know what I'm saying? So it been around for, you know, for ages before, without nobody, you know, tampering with the, you know, the uh, the seed production and messing with, you know, how it grow and trying to splice the genes with another plant and all this, you know, it's non-hybrid. Basically, cacao uh, increases the size of the blood, blood vessels, you know what I'm saying? allows for that that oxygen to really hit the pineal gland so basically that's it i just want to share a few of those little supplements foods you know things that could help you know, decalcify that pineal gland you know help you to get that first eye vision so you could feel you can feel the vibrations around your ass sight you know what i'm saying yeah it's like seeing but it's almost like like sensing the vibrations around you, you know. <laughs> but peace, happy now. I ain't gonna sing it. Now's the vibrate. <laughs> Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now, peace.